Welcome to the channel. I'm going to do um, a quick comparison of three different shutter angles, um, 180 degrees, 360 degrees, and 90 degrees. Um, so just so you have a, uh, a quick visual reference of the differences between shutter angle. And as much as I can fit in, um, I'll try to equate that to shutter speed. So if you're using a camera that doesn't shoot shutter angles or doesn't give you the option to change shutter angles but does shutter speed, um, hopefully you can follow along. Um, but if you're confused in the end and you and you want a comparison of, of shutter speeds, then let me know and, and I can do that too. Um, so starting off um, at 180 degree um, shutter angle, this is what you most commonly see in, in uh, cinematic images. Um, it gives you the motion blur that we associate with um, the cinema. So shutter angle works regardless of uh, frame rate. So if you're shooting at 24 or 60 or 120 frames, um, 180 degree shutter angle will give you that cinematic motion blur. Um, if you're shooting in shutter speed, um, 1 over 48 or 1 over 50 will be the equivalent. Um, but if you change um, your frame rate, you're going to want to double your shutter speed in order to maintain the cinematic look. So at 60 frames, you're going to want your shutter speed to be 120 uh, and et cetera, et cetera. All right, so moving on, we're going to be looking at 360 degrees. So this is going to give you a blurrier image, um, blurrier movement, because um, basically this is exposing the whole frame um, as opposed to just half the frame. And um, I think in shutter speed terms, you would basically want to match your frame rate. So f uh, 24, you'll do 1 over 24, and 60, you'll do 1 over 60. And that should give you um, a, an equally blurry image. So 90 degrees, this is going to basically eliminate motion blur and it looks unnatural somehow just because I think we're used to seeing um, motion blur in cinema but um, you know it's not necessarily unnatural it just looks weird but uh, one way this has been used a lot in uh, movies is in like war films like Saving Private Ryan um, because it just gives you a very kinetic and jarring and chaotic sort of sort of look so anyway um, here's a side-by-side -side comparison, and you can definitely see how the 90 degree really gets rid of all the blur, and how the 180 is how we're, what we're used to, and the 360 is much blurrier. Um, so basically, if you're making narrative work and, you know, think about these things and um, how you could use them and how that could affect you know, the story that you're telling, um, I guess there's no right answer, but... Uh, the typical answer for uh, the history of cinema has been 180 degrees or 1 over 48 or 1 over 50 for shutter speed. And if you want to deviate from that, then um, do so at your own risk. But keep in mind the possibilities. Um, so anyway, oh yeah, if you, um, if you are using a camera that does not have a shutter angle option but only shutter speed and you want to... Um, see a similar test um, you know let me know in the comments and I can probably make that happen for you so anyway thanks for watching